My wife Sharon and I own a small condo in Florida and every year we pay property taxes on that condo. It's separate from any kind of mortgage payment. It's a separate payment. And every year I get a bill and it tells me that if I pay it at a certain time, then that is the amount. And if I wait a little longer, then that will be the amount. It's larger. If we wait a little longer, it'll be even larger amount. And then there's a deadline. And if you don't pay it by the deadline, the largest amount, well, bad things can happen. One year, I totally forgot to pay my property taxes, and the deadline came, and I received a stern notice from the, from the property tax people that it needed to be paid right away. Well, I went to the bank and got the kind of check that I needed, the mail order, sent it, but before I did, I called the office and spoke to the tax assessor, told her the situation and apologized, and she said, because you've been so nice, why don't you just pay this amount, which was lesser, versus the bigger amount. She had the authority to do that. And as a result, I got some grace and I didn't have to pay the penalty. Basically, she wiped the slate clean. When you think of the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we are such sinners, lost, undone, stained and polluted with sin, with no way to save ourselves, in our opinion here at Huntley, deserving hell. We think of ourselves in that light, and yet Jesus Christ went to the cross. He took our place. He took our penalty. He took our sin debt, and he wiped it clean. We deserved the worst-case scenario, but because of his grace, we've been relieved of that. If you know Jesus Christ as your Savior today, in the busyness of living out your faith, don't forget the matchless, magnificent wonderful grace of Jesus Christ.